Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Control of disease of oil palm. As we know, the oil palm is the largest plantation area for industrial crops in Indonesia and maybe also in Malaysia. One of the diseases in oil palm that become the most serious disease uh, is a disease attacked by a Ganoderma. Uh, and we call it basal stem root or in Indonesia we call it busu pangkal batang. Uh, this this is uh, caused by fungi called Ganoderma boninense. Yeah, this is a very famous uh, fungi and very famous uh, disease in oil palm because uh, this infection uh, is very destructive and become the most destructive for oil palm. Uh, Oil palm uh, have a very long productive uh, period. Yeah. Uh, after we plant oil palm, we still uh, we have to manage. We have to uh, care the plant until about thirty years. Yeah, because some uh, clone or some varieties have. Uh, Productive period until about twenty until uh, thirty years. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, infestation for for planting this uh, oil palm is very expensive. Yeah, we have to open the area. We have to uh, prepare the land. Uh, then. Uh, prepare the seedling until we plant it in the area yeah a lot of money uh, needed for this uh, plantation for oil palm yeah and we hope that our money can uh, beg after 30 years or or before yeah? maybe after 10 years before then here we get back our money for uh, our cost for plant plantation or planting. Nah, uh, but uh, in some uh, case, yeah, before we get our money back, our plantation uh, um, broken because of this uh, disease, yeah basal stem rot when this ganoderma boninense infect a plant it's mean that the plant will be dead so we, we cannot uh, the plant cannot produce any anything after that yeah that's why this become very serious disease yeah this fungi infect the silam and cause a major problem in water and nutrition disruption. Uh, so that's why we see the plant uh, look uh, well thick. Yeah. Symptom appear like a water stress and nutrient deficiency. Actually, this is a really a uh, water stress and nutrient deficiency because uh, the psyllium was uh, broken, infected by Ganoderma boninense. Uh, the earliest visual symptom in seedling can be seen in the prison of a uh, fruiting body at the bowl and followed by partial yellowing uh, of older leaf, molting of basal fronts to from necrosis. So we can see uh, yellowing in the uh, leaf. Uh, yeah after uh, and also will take to, uh, uh, this is the symptom of this uh, disease yeah but actually when we see this symptom like uh, wilting or yellowing and leaf and also when we see the fruiting body of the ganoderma boninense at the bowl of the plant uh, 
uh, it mean that we are late ya yeah. uh, kita terlambat gitu we are late because the infection is very uh, have been very serious ya yeah. so we are late um, the fungi will infect the plant start from the root ya yeah. after that develop uh, the the fungi grow inside the silem and uh, of course uh, uh, infect the silem that make the silem cannot uh, do the function very well again and then the plant become wilting yeah after that the fungi still grow and then uh, grow the floating bodies after that so floating bodies actually is the stage of the ganoderma growth uh, that 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 be, that come uh, at the end of the growing stage ya yeah. jadi badan buah ini adalah satu uh, bentuk fase pertumbuhan yang paling akhir sebetulnya. So that's why when we the fruiting body appear, it's mean that we are late because the development of the disease have been very serious. Yeah. So that's why today we need to find the early detection method. Yeah. Today we have to develop early detection method that uh, make us can can detect the the infection uh, before the Ganoderma uh, um, develop a serious uh, serious damage in the plant. Yeah. This is uh, how the fruiting body look like. Uh, you can see in the picture uh, there are some fruiting body that uh, appear from the stem. Yeah, this is the most destructive uh, disease in oil palm plantation in Indonesia and Malaysia. This pathogen attack not only old plant, plant but also uh, young plant. Uh, Biological control is carried by utilizing antagonistic agent like uh, trichoderma. So that's why uh, today, uh, yeah, as you know that in Indonesia today is uh, we are in a period of replanting for for thousand or million hectare of oil palm plantation, and for every single uh, plant have uh, applied by trichoderma before planting uh, because ya yeah, jadi saat ini itu sedang ada replanting kelapa sawit sedang berlangsung di seluruh Indonesia dan uh, as a standard for every plant uh, that will be planting uh, should be uh, applied by trichoderma ya yeah. uh, karena memang trichoderma ini uh, trichoderma known as uh, antagonistic agent that, that can uh, control ganoderma poninense. Synthetic chemical control using several fungicide active ingredient was also reported uh, to be unsatisfactory. Jadi uh, Synthetic chemical, it's not used for this uh, this uh, Ganoderma boninense control. Uh, so we have to develop the other uh, control technique, yeah, control technique. The most ideal, the most ideal uh, disease control uh, is to use Ganoderma tolerant plant, yeah. So at least we have to develop variety of or clone of oil palm that uh, resistant or at least tolerant with this uh, Ganoderma boninense. 
and also using uh, antagonistic agent like trigoderma or theaters. This is a result of a research that very important, I think, to share it with you. Uh, this is a development of incidents. This is incidents yeah, of stem rod disease by Ganderma boninense in, say, Penture Plantation, North Sumatra. Yeah. So, uh, there are three kinds of um, how we call it, yeah. Uh, land preparation, yeah. There are three kind of uh, land preparation. Number one is standard land preparation, like usually people do in uh, plantation. Second, uh, standard land plantation, yeah, like before, but we use large plantation holds, yeah larger than than usually plus we collect and destruction uh, the old plant root so you can imagine uh, when we want to plant uh, oil palm before it this area also planted by oil palm so uh, there are some uh, part of old or previous plant previous oil palm that still uh, there yeah so uh, in the second uh, method of uh, land preparation, they do standard land preparation, but uh, they will plant the oil plum in the large planting hole. And before it, they collect then destruction, uh, the part of uh, old plant root. And the third uh, method of land preparation is uh, doing standard land preparation uh, and then plant uh, the oil plum in the with uh, in the large planting holes but without collecting and destruction the old plant root now the result after a years uh, as we uh, we can see from the picture that after one and two years of the planting uh, when we do land preparation just by uh, following the standard that we have before we still have uh, some disease incidents yeah in the first years and two years yeah and this increasing yeah uh, uh, you can see that the disease incident is very low, yeah, just about two until seven uh, percent, but it's still increasing. We afraid that uh, after five or six years, the disease incidence will be uh, higher. Yeah. But for uh, for second and third um, land preparation that use uh, large planting holes the disease incident is very low almost zero uh, percent yeah it's mean that um, when we want to plant the oil palm uh, we have to do land preparation like usually we do or we call it standard land preparation but uh, using large planting holes will be help to uh, uh, protect our plant from uh, stem root disease yeah. now nah. the other research um, it's about uh, hole yeah there are a uh, planting system called hole in hole uh, lubang dalam lubang yeah? hole in hole planting system so uh, in hole in hole planting system you can see the picture in the left of the of the slide uh, first they create a big hole yeah uh, three meters and the depth is about 80 centimeters and and at the base of the first hole of the big hole they create a small hole yeah 
60 uh, times uh, with a uh, depth about 50 centimeters. Nah, this is called hole in hole planting system. Yeah, they try to compare this uh, hole in hole planting system with a standard planting system. Yeah, for standard planting system, they just use uh, the big hole without a small hole at the base. Nah. Then after that, they compare the disease incidence uh, of the plant with a hole in hole planting system and standard planting system. They observe the disease incidence until 10 years after planting. Yeah. You can see from the picture the with hole in hole planting system. The disease incident is uh, higher than standard planting system. Yeah, it's higher. Uh, start from one year after planting until um, uh, seven years after planting. At the eight years after planting, it uh, look similar. But after that, the, the incidence of area with hole in hole planting system has uh, this is incidence that higher than standard planting system. So uh, this research show us that using hole in hole planting system is not recommended for control Ganoderma boninensis. Yeah, better to use uh, standard planting system. So uh, this is some uh, literature that you can read uh, related with my uh, material today. And also you can find the other information for other uh, resources. Yeah. Now uh, from, from this uh, topic, I want you to uh, try to find like what I said before that uh, uh, fruiting bodies means that we are too late for uh, for the take the plant uh, the the basal stem root disease. Yeah, uh, we can and uh, know the disease because of the symptom like wilting and also uh, fruiting bodies. Yeah. And wilting and fruiting bodies means that we are late. Yeah, we cannot uh, help the plant anymore. Yeah, the plants cannot be survived if the plant uh, if uh, at the base of the stem appear the fruiting bodies. So we need to find the early detection method yeah, that can detect the disease uh, at the early stage of disease development. So. I hope you to create, uh, to find first a uh, method for the take the Ganoderma boninense or to detect basal stem root disease in oil palm uh, early. Yeah? Yeah, please find the early detection method for basal stem root disease caused by Ganoderma boninense on oil palm. Yeah, then. Uh, Write your uh, write the information in a single slide, yeah, a single slide of four point like this one, and then uh, please send the slide. Uh, you can uh, you can convert into PDF or into uh, JPEG. After that, send it to uh, Spada, yeah. So I will repeat. Please find. Uh, this is your first assignment. Please find uh, early detection method for basal stem root disease caused by Ganoderma boninense on oil palm. Then write it in a single slide. Yeah. Then convert the slide into uh, image. Yeah. JPEG or into PDF. Then after that, send the file to the spider. Okay, thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.